السلام علیکم دس از مشارف خان اینڈ ویلکم ٹو مائی یوٹیوب چینل دا ٹریول ڈائری آئی ہوپ یو لائک دا پریویس ویڈیو وچ از آن ریزیوم اینڈ دس ویڈیو از آن دا انٹرویو ہاؤ آئی پاس مائی انٹرویو اینڈ واٹ آر دا کوشچنس آئی آنسر the beginning i will start all of my interviews and for those who are currently studying and having interview in few days so this video will help them a lot so uh, first uh, my when i go for the international interview what they ask me uh, first fl uh, technique interview what they ask me they ask me go through your resume and i start like this my name is masharif khan and i have done the aircraft maintenance engineering course from the aviation training hub and from 2012 to 2015 and then i have a license easa pca gaka and uh, i have all these trainings blah 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 and then say what what are your major uh, domain so i say aerospace is my major domain uh, i am aerospace so they, then they ask me so what are the tasks you have done most so i say line task i have done the most and then they uh, they found out the mistake i made in my resume i i just write the aileron replacement flight control replacement i write in my uh, logbook which is a base maintenance task actually but it can be performed on the line as well but it, uh, for this he asked me just now replace aileron for us uh, just tell me how can you replace the aileron and there uh, there is uh, i i must i stuck there i know there's some bonding there's some actuators and you need to remove the bolt and then he asked me tell me the material of that bolt and then there i got stuck and i got rejected for this i after this i made an amendment in my resume after this when i moved to another international interview uh, so what i did I remove the the task which I never perform or I don't know how to explain so I keep it to the line line replacement replaceable unit or the the maximum task which is covered in the line which is a daily routine tasks so uh, they ask me introduce yourself I introduce myself this my name is Bashar Khan again same I go through my resume and they ask me now we will start for the technical questions so they told me start from the uh ada chapters uh, i said from where he said beginning he said i then i start 05 limitation 06 time dimension 7 jacking i i'm going like this then he stopped me at 11 he said what is the uh name of this chapter i said play card then he said then he said continue then he told he stopped me at 12 he said servicing he told me how can you service uh, hydraulic and 8 bus a320 so i told him how can uh, we service it is a there's a, a green panel if you can service all three hydraulic from that panel so he said okay very good and then he said continue then i go to the electrical 20 24 then he told me what are the electrical sources and in the aircraft then i told him both engines apu batteries and ground power unit he said correct then he took me back he said what is 23 as a communication then he said what is 21 i said air conditioning he said okay then he just jumped jump towards uh, directly to, to 26 i said fire protection he said how many fire bottle in the engine in airbus a320 i said two fire bottle in one engine and one fire bottle in the apu and cargo have also uh, fire extinguisher bottle and uh, the elevatory also have the fire extinguisher bottle okay after this he asked me a very tricky question he said all of the all of in all a full aircraft there's a fire act, uh, detection and fire extinguishing but in uh, one uh, one place there's only fire detection not extinguishing so what uh, what is the place what is the component what is the area of this uh, you can define then i say avionics compartment engine apu uh, lavatory cargo everywhere if you did detect fire they operate fire bottle but in the avionics compartment if they detect fire then they don't have fire bottle they just close the doors and they try to remove the smoke so there is only fire detection system in the avionics compartment this is very important then he comes to me about 
the control services i explained how i'll run elevator everything then he asked me uh, which uh, how many computers then i explained two we like three sec uh, three f- uh, flight uh, two flight warning computers flight augmentation computer sorry so after that he said go go to the engine and then i straight go to the engine uh, he said start from the then he stopped me to the 74 he said what is the 74 i said ignition he said go to the 80 i so i said 80 is starting he said how many the, how can the engine start i said manually uh, automatically and uh, with the external cart uh, he said okay uh, this is what i done the second international interview and i got passed so in the third interview so what they asked me same they said introduce yourself uh, before uh, getting the final interview i was interviewed by two uh, two times before they called me they asked me in my contact email everything and they send me invitation and after they asked me this is the salary are you willing to do this and i said okay yes i will be i'm willing for you if you guys uh, got the salary and they ask you if you are willing to do and you said yes i i am willing and after you pass your interview and then you refuse and from reason for refusing it the salary this will might get negative impact on your uh, career so if you don't want to do the job make a straight and go and straightly inform that you can do or not simple uh, after that my final interview where there is a panel and they asked me introduce yourself same same uh, introduction and after that he said how many years of experience is six years of experience nine he said then he start this interview is little bit tough he did not ask me a system he asked me scenario scenario based questions like uh, how can you do a walk around i was doing a walk around he told me what the was thing you will be do then i explained what i am starting walk around from l1 he said you found a green disc what is the i said this is for the oxygen in the tail i found the red disc this is for the apu fire he said okay good he asked me rv rv sm reduce vertical speed minimum so he said what are the three com- components uh, three things we especially look during walk around i say put out do a prop and a static board he said correct and the, he then he asked me the last one which i don't know i i just guess i say that uh, total air temperature he said no no then the third thing is angle of attack in airbus 320 i'm talking about especially airbus a320 and only airbus a320 uh, three things you should uh, check uh, during rvsm aircraft uh, put out uh, put out prop uh, static ports and the angle of attack he said okay khalas next we move, move to another scenario based question he said blue electric pump is inoperative what you will do i said i will go i will issue the new electric pump from the store and i will install and i will clear the item he said you don't have any uh, electric pump so what you will do i said i will do the cannibalization from an, an, another aircraft he said no you cannot do the cannibalization so what you will do uh, i said i will uh, uh, and then he said you have to send the aircraft you cannot ground it and he gave me no option i said uh, very simple i will swap with the yellow electric pump to the blue electric pump and then i will then i will apply ml to yellow electric pump because yellow electric pump is alternate and it's covered in the ml the blue one is emergency it's if it's not working it will no, uh, the aircraft will be no go he said very good he said now he asked me you uh, how many types of ml and what are the uh, days limitations i say bravo 3 days charlie 10 days delta 120 days and then he said what about the alpha i said alpha is up to the operator it can be either one uh, one day one hour or immediate it it's up to the operator he said very good and then he said why you will look into the ml why don't you go for the nef or cdl i said uh, ml is a minimum equipment list this equipment should be serviceable before the departure and you have to be make, make sure that these uh, components and the parts are airworthy and they are serviceable he said very good move ahead then he said found the static wicks broken what ml you will apply i say i will not apply ml i will apply the cdl configuration deviation list he said correct answer then he told me come into the cockpit 
कैप्टन कॉल यू एंड ही इज़ वेरी वेरी एंग्री ही इज़ वेरी अप्रूसिव एंड ही इज़ डूइंग वेरी मिस बिहेव टू यू एंड सेम एज वेल एज द्लू दिस दीज आर द टू क्वेश्चन I say I will stay and I will uh, I will stay calm and I will show the professionalism and I will try to handle the situation very calmly and professionally and then he say he is not listening to you he, he is doing a lot of uh, misbehave and what you, what will be your action I say I will give uh, I will tell him the, for the communication to the maintenance is the uh, log book don't talk to me just write in the log book I will do my my part and uh, if he is still out of control i will inform my supervisor and i will leave the aircraft then he said aircraft is hard landing and there is a report which is triggered automatically and which is in this uh, uh, this uh, report did not come out automatically so how can you print the, uh, the that report and what is the name of that report on hard landing as a simple i will go the cfds mcdu and i will go to the aids and store reports there is a re- report load report 15 make sure load report 15 it's a, this one come out automatically or you can access as well uh, from the mcdu uh, this uh, for the hard landing he said he said very good then he said how many how much salary you expected and then i say i expected this salary make sure whenever you ask this question it doesn't mean they will give you the exact salary so for this this is some kind of tricky question they can uh, judge your mentality because when you comes to an uh, age of uh, when you comes to an experience you will never work for the low pay scale so you will uh, uh, high, ask the high pay scale but no not go to the too much high don't go for that i can work free i will work for free i will um, i will work for 80 8000 no 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 what is the market price May mark your price don't go for the net i can work for 5000 it's okay for me no no it's not okay he will he might reject you if you go for high he can he he say, he will think he is confident he is experienced so we should uh, ask him So, and salary in this kind of organization or any organization which is very big the pay scale for the same the one designation is same for everyone they cannot pay you different and the other guy different they will pay everyone same this question is all, all, only a tricky question they want to check your mentality and your confidence level so make sure you will ask you will demand yourself you can sell yourself then he asked me you found an dent uh, on the aircraft what you will do i said first i will go i check the log book and the dent buckle chart is it is uh, pre- previously recorded or not if previously recorded i will close the item refer to the uh, technical log book this number and item already stored clear repair shop guy and he will uh, do the dimension and then we check the is it uh, as uh, srm is it acceptable or not if acceptable we will apply the restriction and we will depart the aircraft then he asked me can you service oxygen uh, on board while passenger on board i said no we cannot service uh, oxygen while passenger on board then he asked me can you service uh, oxygen while the cockpit crew and the cabin crew on board i said no for the oxygen only the maintenance crew should be there he said okay very good then he then the last question is he asked me what you will do your supervisor and manager came and he asked you your hands are full of oil and they asked you to do the oxygen servicing will you do i said no i will not do anything which is not uh, acceptable in the manual or regulation or any in which is safety related item i will refuse this uh, order he said very good and then he asked me there there is a aircraft which is no go uh, will you uh, will you release uh, the aircraft on your supervisor i said no i will not release aircraft will be grounded and passenger will be disembarked he said very good so i hope this video will help you and the one and last video will be posting soon so support me and help me to get 10000 subscribers like share and subscribe allah hafiz